Can you figure out why satellites don't fall out of the sky? The premise of these videos is the idea that if you figure something out for yourself, you intuitively understand it and you'll learn it much better than you would if someone just handed you the answer. It's going to seem like a tangent, I promise it's going to be relevant. Why are the astronauts on the space station weightless? Most people think that when you're in space, you're weightless because there's no gravity. That is a misconception. Again, the International Space Station is not very far away. It's only about 250 miles up. So, how much gravity are they actually experiencing? If you do that calculation, they're effectively under the same force of gravity up there that we are right here. So, why are they weightless? There's gravity there, for sure. Probably need to give you the hint that the way they train astronauts for um, weightlessness, get them ready to go up into space before they've experienced it, is um, they put them in this thing called the vomit con. It's this plane that goes up and then it starts diving. It doesn't dive straight down, but it goes at an angle and it goes fast enough that the people inside are in free fall and the plane is effectively just in free fall around them. So it's as if they're weightless in this environment. So based on that hint, hopefully you might be able to guess the people on the International Space Station are weightless because the International Space Station is in free fall, right? But that doesn't make sense, does it? So imagine this is the surface of the Earth, they're only 250 miles up. How long would it take for the space station to hit the ground if it really was in free fall? Again, this is a physics class. You guys know the equations, how to do this. If you solve this equation for time, you end up getting 286 seconds, which is 4.76 minutes. It, take, it would take less than five minutes for the space station to crash into the Earth if it really were in free fall. So why doesn't it? I'm giving you guys the answer that it is in free fall. Basically, the point is that the space station is moving. It's not just falling straight down. It is moving, and it is moving fast. It's moving at 17,000 miles an hour. 17,000 miles an hour. That means it goes all the way around the Earth in 90 minutes. It only takes an hour and a half to go all the way around the Earth which means in a single day it orbits the Earth 17 times. So it's not just falling straight down. If it had a little bit of velocity, it would just do this. You might think that that would make it take longer to hit the ground, but it would It'd still travel this distance in the y-axis in five minutes. It would just hit over here instead of over here. But it's traveling really fast, right? It's traveling really fast, right? So, can you figure out why satellites don't fall out of the sky and crash into the Earth? Pause the video here and see if you can figure it out. If not, no worries. When you start the video again, I'll explain everything, and you'll still have gotten your brain engaged and primed to really learn it well. It's traveling really fast, right? So, this scale isn't going to be helpful for us anymore. We need to zoom our scale out. Scale needs to look more like this. This is the Earth. The International Space Station is not only that tall. It would take it five minutes to fall that distance. If it was moving a little faster, five minutes there, there. You guys see what's going to end up happening? Yeah. It's going to take it five minutes to fall this distance here. From, to get from this elevation to this elevation. But if it's moving fast enough, by the time it reaches that elevation, the Earth will have curved away from it by that same elevation. Oh. The Earth is, or the International Space Station is in free fall, but it's moving so fast that the Earth curves away from it at the same rate that it falls towards the Earth. That is the definition of what orbit is. Something being in orbit doesn't just mean it's not experiencing gravity or it's just going around. It's in free fall, but it's moving sideways so fast that the Earth curves away from it at the same rate that it falls. That's what orbit is.